when the casket of the late chairman of the Social Democratic Front, the SDF, Nijon Frunzi, arrived at the Bamenda Grandstand Commercial Avenue on Friday, July 28, 2023. During the final rally, emotions were high. This was the opportunity for the population of Bamenda and the entire Northwest region to say a final goodbye to a man who, despite all the odds, openly proved his love for the population. Who had a The presence of other political parties like the CPDM, the UPC and others at the final rally was very visible. When the gate of history opened to future generations and his body rests in harmony with the land of our ancestor, Chairman Nijab Fundi, will be remembered as a statesman who believed in the virtues of dialogue, forgiveness and tolerance to overcome the perils of extremism and safeguard the unity of Cameroon. The UPC family, in the face of the loss of his illustrious son of our nation, shares the sorrow of his family and his party, the Social Democratic Front. Through his courage, audacity, and at, time, at times tenacity, Chairman Lee John Fudi, played a significant role in promoting democracy in our country. And today it is time to go. And tomorrow, it will be your time to go. But what matters today, I'd like you all to know, is the legacy you are leaving behind. Papa Ile. Papa Ile. Meet your friend the LA. Thank you very much. Tribute presented by Fongo Cletus, the elected leader for the Northwest region. On behalf of the family of the Northwest region. First Vice National Chairman of the SDF. Everybody who thinks he is God, favorite son or daughter, will die someday. Nobody can stop death. Death is the only thing mankind cannot stop. Most of us, Mr. Chairman, we have missed our own lives because of six years of troubles that no one can describe and define. But Mr. Chairman, you always told us politics is not for us, it's for our children. And I can guarantee you that we will fight that fight against fear to make sure that our children do not live the same things that we've gone through these last years. We National Chairman, we are not hear plenty things about him. The big love we get up for heart. I don't know no one person for SDF party, for Cameroon, we don't come Bamenda, or even inhabitant for Bamenda. When he ever enter a house, I'm back recently to what we never shop. When Benjamin Frunzi, son of Nijon Frunzi, took to the rostrum, one could feel the spirit of the late chairman in him. When he talked for Cameroon, for PG, he inspire hope, he inspire belief. For people who really know me, even they understand him, they did if he talk for them and they listen and they say, Ah, you don't talk true. No we can reach you today after 33 years of true service, of dedicated service. Some people deny, say we will not give back. 
for the very town where he worked. He did every story there of place where Park is today. They did not belong to this place. How they build and then uh, brick by brick. Yet, yeah, no one make me honor him. Una agree? No. Una agree? No. From the Bamenda Commercial Avenue, passing through the Liberty Square, the remains of the chairman were taken to the Presbyterian Church, Musang, his local congregation, for a funeral service. The Presbyterian Secretary for Mizam South Presbytery, the Reverend Uzo Theresia Benze, challenged the mourners to learn from the life that Nijon Frunzi lived here on earth. All these with the fear of the Lord being his priority. To us, it's a great loss. And I wonder who ever measure in the fear of the Lord. Who ever measure in the fear of the Lord? We will forever mourn you, the Northwesterners who still have their brain intact, knows that you are someone who contributed a lot. And we can never forget you in the heaven. This message is not for you, probably it's for me because my heart has been very, very broken as regards the affairs surrounding your death and your subsequent burial. But by the mercy of God, I want to congratulate us for braving it and for being here to bid this fallen hero bye-bye to his resting room. There's no man who has come close to need your food that will not know that what made him to grow high is that he had the fear of God in his heart. From the church, the convoy drove to his Ntarinkun residence. The crowd here was huge to mourn their political leader. Every day. 
Saturday, July 29, 2023, the corpse of the emblematic politician left Bamenda for his native village Baba 2 in Santa Subdivision, Mesam Division, where the official burial ceremony decreed by the President of the Republic of Cameroon will take place. Upon arrival at his residence in Babatu village, the population could not hold back their tears. The arrival of Jean Quete, personal representative of the head of state, alongside other top government officials at the official burial ceremony, set the pace for the procession of the casket carried by police officers. Supervised by the Commissioner of Police, Emmanuel Mbok. church service, the preacher, the Reverend Dr. Fai Michael, representative of the moderator of the PCC in the Northwest region, described Ni John Frunzi as a man who stood for peace. SDF! Power! SDF! Power! Power to the people and equal opportunity. Who are the people? We are the people! Who they get that power? After listening to the Secretary General of the SDF, the family and the Vice Chairman of the party, the Governor of the Northwest Region, Adolf Lille Afrique, read out the condolence message of the Head of State addressed to the family. On the death of your father, Lee John Frunti, Chairman of the Social Democratic Front, 
SDF, which occurred in Yaoundé on the 9th of the 12th, 2023. I wish to pay tribute to the member of this particular figure who was a caring family man and a committed patriot. Mijon Fundi was also a key player in the political life of our country. Under his leadership, the SDM took part in several elections and won seats in the municipal legislature and the senatorial elections. On this occasion, I would like to extend my sincere condolences to you, his entire family, his relation, and to the member of the Social Democratic Front, I was at the deepest sympathy of my wife, sincerely, Paul Bia, to Madame Jennifer Nguye Inti, through the governor of the Norwest region, Bamenda. Vu le décret numéro 76, barre 424, du 16 septembre 1976, fixant les règles de protocole à observer en matière de cérémonie publique, préséance et honneur civil et militaire, décrète. Article 1 Les obsèques officielles sont instituées en l'honneur de M. Ni John Fundi. Président du Social Democratic Front, LTF, décédé le 12 juin 2023 à Yaoundé, l'institut de maladie. Article 2. Ces obsèques officielles se dérouleront le samedi 29 juillet 2023 à Baba 2, département de la Maison, région du Nord-Ouest. Article 3. Le présent décret sera enregistré, publié suivant la procédure d'urgence, puis inséré au journal officiel en français et en anglais. Yaoundé, le 26 juillet 2023, signe Paul Biya, président de la République. This now gave way to the personal representative of the head of state, vice prime minister, Jean Kweti, to posthumously raise the late chairman to the rank of Grand Cordon of the Cameroon Order of Merit.
The casket with the remains of Ni John Frunzi was then carried to his final resting place under his Kola nut tree in front of his house just beside his late wife Rose Frunzi as he had wished. Really happy to be here to lay my father, my mentor, my political mentor, my teacher to rest. He has done so much for the nation, he has done so much for the community, he has done so much for us, the young politicians who are coming up. He was actually an icon and a mentor. If I know anything in politics today, it is thanks to him. It is not only in the political sphere, but I was a great farmer and he taught us to always put our hands on the soil and he will never deceive us. And uh, he was a great humanitarian and he was always looking for a means to satisfy people. And that is the policy of social justice, which we learned so much from him. I think we will live to regret him, his departure, and I hope that God will give us the strength to keep his legacy. Finally, we are laid to rest our hero, Ni John Frundi, the man who brought democracy in Cameroon. He has some virtues that he has left behind for us to follow. Virtue of patience, virtue of always being honest, and virtue to be truthful in whatever thing you do. And I hope that we are going to keep that and whatever thing we are going to do for the benefit of Cameroonians and even the political party who based on those virtues that he taught us. He's the father of democracy in Cameroon. And father of democracy is in this form. Freedom of speech first. We can express ourselves. And he has gone. He has put a legacy. I think as Lee John Frundi, if I can compare Lee John Frundi, that the father of democracy that refused entirely to spray blood, refused his victory in 1992 because he never wanted blood. He never wanted people to die. He has introduced struggle to fight for democracy for Cameroonians. He has spoken his own part. He has involved people. And I think the greatest thing I want to keep about Frundi is the fight against fear because by the time SDF was launched, he fought against fear to launch the SDF. He fought against fear to stand and express the mind of Cameroonians. All cannot be good, but I still hope that we will learn, we will follow, and see that Frundi is that person who fought for change, but never fought for blood to be poured. In order to keep the legacy of the great statesman, the family announced the creation of the Frunzi Memorial Foundation with the aim to continue with the humanitarian works of their late father. We are going to count on your support. And for that reason, in order that your support is channeled appropriately and adequately, the family, through my humble person, will announce to you today that in the coming weeks, we will be creating the Frodi Memorial Foundation. Ni John Funzi will now rest in Babatu village, Santa subdivision of the Northwest region, left behind nine children, 19 grandchildren, the SDF family and a host of others to mourn him. Adieu, Chieman. Thank you.